Alrighty, yo guys. So, listen to that squelch. Today we are going to talk about this bad boy. The Scorpion XO80X2 modular helmet. So, I've been planning to do a video on this for ages, a proper one. And honestly, I've kind of been putting it off. I've had a bit of a mixed result with this helmet. And um, yeah, we'll go into why. So, first off, the ADX2 replaces the ADX1. Uh, that's the helmet I had for quite some time until I biffed it into a sand dune and got whacked on the head by the rear wheel of Rosie the Rally. After that, I decided it was probably time to retire that helmet. Uh, so, fast forward a few months, and this arrived from Derby Accessories. They are the New Zealand Scorpion XO distributor. And Yep, no money changed hands, so this was given to me for free. Um, I was allowed to choose the colour, but basically the dealers with Derby Accessories, they want honest reviews, they don't want any faff, they want people to buy stuff knowing the ins and outs, so kudos to them. So first off, massive redesign from the ADX1. ADX2 has a whole new chin bar vent system. You've got not only vents here on the front, but you've also got vents on the inside, which is really handy when you're recording audio using a boom mic, like a motor vlogger does. Uh, removable peak, just like the ADX-1, but they've changed all the controls. So, now, down here is where you will find the drop-down sun visor control. It used to be up here, which was an absolute pain in the butt on the ADX-1. I was constantly trying to find where it was, so that's nice. This little red button here, that actually locks it in position. So, you can ride it around safely knowing that the chin bar is not going to drop down. I don't personally do that, but it's a nice option regardless. Uh, it does say very specifically in the instructions to not leave that open and force the chin bar down, otherwise you will break it. <laughs> so, pin lock ready visor, straight out of the box. Decent ventilation, could possibly be a little bit better, but it is what it is. It is, comes out of the box also ready for Scorpion's comms unit. Um, obviously this isn't a Scorpion's comm, that is a Cardo packed torque edge, but that does mean that on the inside you have cutouts for your speakers, so there was no dramas at all fitting the Cardo to this. Speakers fit in nicely, they're well positioned, I can hear it quite easily. Uh, but also at the back here, you probably can't see that, uh, but there is a little space in the back here for you to put the plugs and the wires that come associated with and intercom unit, which is really nice. So we'll whack it on. So unlike the ADX1, I can actually put this on without uh, opening the chin bar. Nice and easy. Ratchet clip to uh, hold it together. And nice easy one-handed opening to open it up. So, comfort wise, uh, I think this is a big step up from the ADX1. The ADX2 is much more comfortable on your head for long distances. One major change though is the weight, and it's 200 grams heavier than the ADX1, which most of the time it's okay, it is something you get used to. The weight is listed as 1750 grams, thereabouts, uh, plus or minus 50 grams. So, it is a bit heavy to get started with, but you do get used to it, your neck muscles get stronger and whatnot, um, but it, it is a bit heavy, especially when you're putting a uh, action camera on the front and motor vlogging with it. Ventilation, as I said, really nice, and overall the experience has been really good. Um, oh look, I've got little finger marks. Um, there is, apart from the weight, one other thing that I'm not a huge fan of with this helmet, and that is the visor. So. Uh, on my ADX1 I had no issues with leakage or anything, but I have noticed on the ADX2 Drop it down but This is not what I signed up for In heavy rain I will get a trickle of rain down here So the seals aren't perfect. I haven't been able to see if you can adjust those But that is something to keep in mind if you're riding in lots of wet weather But other than that the weight you get used to the Leakage, well it doesn't get in your face or anything, it doesn't obscure your vision particularly badly, it's just something you notice. Um, definitely things you can live with. Pricing for this starts at $500 New Zealand dollars, or $499 plus $100 more for the graphics. Um, 
honestly it's a nice lid it's comfortable that's the big thing it's safe it's got all the necessary things it takes your intercom really easily and opening up the chin bar like you can talk to people and they can see your face um so yeah i'm a bit of a fan of this helmet now um yes it does have its drawbacks it has become the helmet that i use the most mostly because i have come around to the modular way of thinking i find it very useful for taking photos and videos when i'm jumping on and off bikes um for full-on safety yes you're probably better off with a traditional non-flip face helmet uh, but if you want a helmet that's really versatile this is definitely worth looking at uh, so that's the initial thoughts well so that's the basic rundown of the scorpion adx2 a bit better in some regards to the adx1 a uh, couple of small points that it doesn't quite uh, live up to its predecessor but overall it's still a good helmet it's priced really well and it's worth looking at so thank you for having a gander at this vid uh, make sure you like share subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you on the next video ciao